Servus and welcome to Flo's German Kitchen. I'm Flo, this is my kitchen and I show you how to cook the German way. Today, actually, it is the Swiss way. I'm going to prepare Swiss Rösti, a crunchy, crispy, tasty Swiss potato pancake. You don't need a lot of ingredients actually if you want to eat something that's got less ingredients than this dish, you can eat a banana. We have potato, we have salt, pepper and of course a good guzzle of German beer. Ah, wunderbar! Actually today I'm going to make two different styles of Rösti. One is made of raw potatoes, the other one is made of I'd say semi-cooked potatoes. I'll start with the raw potatoes and later on I'll tell you what the difference between those two varieties is. I'll start with grating the raw potatoes and for that I'm going to get my wonderful food processor. I just love that thing. So that's already it. So let's get those potatoes. And as you might know, potatoes start getting brown when they're exposed to oxygen. So you have to be a pretty quick to avoid that. Next thing is add the salt and as always when working with potatoes you can be really generous with the salt. Also we add some pepper and as I love pepper I take quite a lot. When you mix this you can already start squeezing the potatoes because what you want is to get water out of the potatoes and the salt helps already extracting that. But the most efficient way to get water out of the potatoes is to squeeze them. For that I'll take a piece of kitchen cloth, wrap it in and squeeze the water out as hard as I can. And here you can see this is relatively easy and that's already a part of what the salt has done but still put some effort in it. The more water you squeeze out the better your rösti gets. So next step is already frying the rösti. I'll set up my stove and see you in a minute. Here we go. I've added some vegetable oil and now I start shaping the rösti. An important thing is that you don't apply too much heat. So all you do is spread it to shape a thin, yeah, let's call it pancake. And there is certain rules to life. And one rule is never leave loose ends. And that's what you're going to do with your rösti as well. Just shape it to a nice round pancake and those little pieces of potato, if you don't get it back to where they belong, they will start burning. An important thing is that you don't apply too much heat to the rösti because it takes some time for the raw potatoes to, to be cooked through 
and if you take too much heat you will have the outside of the lures tea get burned you don't want that so what happens now is that on the bottom of the rösti you will get a crust and on the inside of the rösti you can see that there is a lot of steam the the liquid evaporates from the potatoes and that already steams the inside of the rösti and that's what gonna get the potatoes on the inside soft but you will need some time uh, for that, so I'm at a level of 50% of the overall power of the stove. Doing the rösti that way will take about 15 to 20 minutes. So as you can see, those little pieces of potato on the side, they already get brown. So this is definitely done on the uh, downside. And uh, if you're not brave or bold enough to flip that thing I'm not gonna do that an easy way to flip it is to just use the lid of a pot now this looks just perfect I'm gonna do the other side and I see you when this is done this is finished I'm gonna put it on a plate because there's one more way to do rösti that I'm gonna show you next. So let's go for the second kind of rösti. The reason why I'm doing two kinds of rösti is that there are two different shapes of rösti. The one is that flat, thin way of rösti. The other one is a bit a thicker sort of almost a potato cake. And if you want a thick thing like that, not to burn on the outside you have to prepare the potatoes and that's what i have done these potatoes are let's say semi-cooked they were boiling for 15 minutes so they are already soft on the outer side but the core is still almost raw so that mixture will make sure that if you fry the thicker rösti the inside will be cooked through without the outside getting burnt. All the ingredients are absolutely the same. Salt, pepper, potatoes and of course beer. <clears throat> Wunderbar. So let's get my wonderful little food processor. Now I'm making a little bit of an experiment I really hate peeling potatoes and I've seen guys using potatoes with the peel still on so I'll give that a try and I hope it will be just as fine as if I peeled them. So that's done. I'll take my cloth again. And take out my potatoes. Now you can already see they are softer than the first ones, but they're still good. I had to put the potatoes back in the bowl because I forgot to add the salt and potatoes without salt. I don't like it, you won't like it. So I start again. Salt, pepper, mix. back to the cloth and squeeze so looking at that I got a slight feeling that those potatoes got a bit too much this is going to be let's say a smash rösti 
But let's see what it's going to look like in the end. Here I also want to keep the stuff together so that it's a compact cake. So as you can see this guy is much thicker than the first one I did. Uh, I'll give it some time to fry and then we'll see what it's gonna look like. So this is still frying. I'll get myself another beer. I guess we could dare to look now. Oh yes, this is wonderful. Exactly what it's supposed to look like. I'll give it some more oil. But not too much. I don't want to drown it in fat, but I want it to be evenly brown like this side. So a little more oil helps. So while this is still finishing, let's talk about what to have with your Rösti. You've seen my video about Zürcher Geschnetzeltes. That's the classic combination, Zürcher Geschnetzeltes and Rösti. If you haven't seen the video about the Geschnetzeltes, have a look here. It's a wonderful meat dish you will love. Other ways to have your Rösti one thing is have it with uh, sauce remoulade and uh, smoked salmon. What I'm going to do today is I'll just have it with some nice fresh lettuce. So I put that to the side a little and prepare my lettuce. This is a light vinaigrette. Nothing special, that's just um, vinegar, oil, salt, pepper and a little mustard. So let's have a look with this. Oh yeah, that's just wonderful exactly the way I want it. I'll put it on the plate. Let's just get rid of that and enjoy what we have here. Tomato always looks great with salad. So here we have it, two kinds of Swiss Rösti. I don't really know where to start, but I'm doing this one more often. So I start with the cake-like thick Rösti. Hmm. I, I was a bit scared. I had boiled the potatoes too long and they were too soft, but there, there is still some bite in it. You got the crust on the outside and it's soft on the inside. Wonderful. Hmm. The combination with the lettuce is really great because you got that, that slightly sour taste of the vinaigrette. You got the 
the juiciness of the salad and you still got some crisp pieces of potato. And potato always goes well with lettuce. Now let's get to that second wonderful rösti. You can already see from the outside this is crisp. This is a bit thinner than the other one. Mm. And it's just really, really tasty. I get a piece with lettuce. Hmm. Okay, we got two kinds of rösti. I love them both and I couldn't tell if there is one that I like more than the other. Probably it has to do with how you eat them. If it's with a uh, geschnetzeltes, I would probably like this one more. If it's with salad, that that soft, a bit richer uh, kind of rösti has its benefits. I suppose you try them both and make your own opinion, make your own decision what you like, or you decide which one to take by what you eat it with. My family is not home today, so I'm gonna eat them both. I don't have to make a choice. I just love them both. If you like this video, if you like my channel, tell your friends about it. And if you want to support it, hit on some of the affiliate links in the video description. You can buy stuff there. And if you do, I get a little commission. First of all, and most important, enjoy your home cooking. Enjoy Rösti. Cheers on Rösti. Ah, wunderbar.